What is up guys and welcome to a new series where I use money making guides from the OSRS wiki. If you guys enjoy this idea, I'll definitely make more and try to run through every single one of these on the list, no matter how ridiculous they might be. I'll be trying and testing out these money makers to see how accurate they are so you don't have to. Let's get into the video. Now for today's video we have another suggestion from Chris Brown himself, and it is to do one hour of making snapdragon potions. Now there was also another recommendation to clean snapdragon herbs, grimy snapdragon herbs, but I figured we'd do this one since this one had a higher profit and I'm pretty sure it's less click intensive than cleaning the actual herbs. But that doesn't mean that we won't come back to this and do it in a future video, so stay tuned. We might also do different herbs as time goes on, the prices are always changing on these types of money makers, so we might explore those later on, but you can also do that yourself if you want to. Now here I'm just showing the setup that I have. I have the herbs and the water vials right on top of each other so that I can quickly pull 14 of each at the same time. Once you withdraw them, all you have to do is use one on the other and then click to make all. And that's pretty much it. That is the entire method. You'll just be making potions for this entire one hour. And honestly, it's a lot more chill than some of the methods that I've been doing. And the profit that it said that we will make is actually close to the high side for a lot of the stuff that we have to do, so I'd say it's worth the uh, small amount of effort you have to put in. And if you notice, we do have bank fillers for this just to make it a little more smoother. Uh, this is similar to the clay video that we were doing where we were using humidify on soft clay, or using humidify on clay to turn it into soft clay. It's pretty much the same method, we'll just be doing a lot of banking here at the crafting guild, but it doesn't really matter where you do this, I just like using the crafting guild because it's nice and peaceful. As far as plugins go, the only one that we're using here is the camera zoom plugin, and that's just so that we can get closer to the bank chest. So it's, I guess, less movement between clicks. I'd say that this method is a lot more enjoyable than the humidify video, because in the humidifying one, I feel like there was a lot more clicks for that one, and I'm pretty sure we're going to make less money than we're going to make right here doing this method. So the cool thing about this one is, once you click on the herb and on the vial of water, there is a nice little bit of downtime where you're actually making the potions. So it's not as click intensive and it looks like we're going to make a lot more money doing this method instead. This money making method also has few requirements. The biggest one is just having a big cash stack. Obviously the more money you have, the more money you can make because you won't have to waste time going to the GE, selling off your potions and then buying more supplies. So the OSR's wiki recommends you have around 30 million to play around with. And as far as skills go, all you need is 63 herb lore and the completion of the quest Druidic Ritual, which unlocks the herb lore skill. Now for this video, we didn't have to do a gear setup uh, portion, simply because you really don't need any gear. The only thing you'll be using is the herbs on the vials of water. Uh, for here, I'm just wearing some graceful, my max cape, and of course the best helmet in the game, which is the golden helmet. And that's pretty much it. You can wear whatever you want whenever you're doing this method. There's really nothing you need for this. Um, I do want to mention though, if you do already have 99 herb lore and you have the herb lore cape, you can actually make a little bit more money by doing this method. And the reason for that is because you can actually buy grimy herbs which are less expensive than the clean versions, and you can use the grimy herb straight away on a vial of water and you'll even get the herb lore XP that you would have gotten if you cleaned it yourself. But because most people watching this video won't have 99 herb lore, I decided not to use the effect of that on my max cape, so I still went ahead and bought the cleaned versions, but it's just a tip for you, just in case you don't know about it. Now as far as efficiency goes, um, I did use one shortcut, but you can actually use two shortcuts during this method. So whenever I open up the inventory, I do use the escape key to close it, so I don't have to move the mouse cursor over to the X in the top right corner. I think that's a ruin light plugin, it actually might be part of the vanilla client, I'm not entirely sure. But yeah, I used escape to close the interface, and then if you really want to, you can also use spacebar whenever the make all potions option appears. I'd say the only downside to doing this method is that you don't gain any XP for doing this, which is why the profit margins can be you know so high, because a lot of people use these unfinished potions to train their herbal skill. And they themselves don't want to go through the process of adding the herb to the vial of water because you don't get any XP at all. So if there's any downside, that's probably the only one to this. Uh, the other one being maybe the fact that you need a huge cash deck. But like I said before, it's not totally necessary. It'll just help out in the long run. 
because it would be doing less trips to the GE and less trips to the bank. And speaking of trips to the GE and the bank, uh, you'll actually make a lot more money if you put in an offer and leave it in overnight. That way you can let them come in at you know their own pace. Uh, if you insta-buy all the herbs that you need, you'll be losing out on potential profits. So I suggest just leaving in an offer in overnight and then collecting them. The same thing can be said for when you're selling off your potions. Don't sell them off instantly, put them in there for a nice little price and then just let them sit overnight. That way you can truly maximize your profits from this money maker. And then towards the end of the video, you'll be able to see how much I made in one hour, and then you can buy the correct amount of herbs accordingly. Usually whenever I make these types of videos, I tend to buy a little extra than what the wiki says I can do, just in case I go over so I don't have to interrupt the video and then go to the GE and buy more supplies. But with that being said, we have reached the end of the one hour of making Snapdragon potions. We can now go ahead and do a small little price check on the potions that we made. We made just a little over 4,000 potions. And we can do a price check, we get a total of around 41.7 mil. So as you can see, there is a big amount of money that you need to invest to do this method, but it's worth it in the end, simply because you make good money for pretty much small amount of effort. So now we'll just be putting the potions in for a price of 10,160 coins. The prices will always change, so the wiki actually recommends a nice little tip for you. It says to buy one of these potions and then sell it for just a little bit underneath how much you bought that potion for. That way you can truly maximize your profits. So I'm selling it for 10,159 actually, because I think whenever I bought it, one bought for 10,160. So I went one GP under the market price. And as you can see here, they did eventually sell and we can collect our money. Just a little over 42 million collected from this one hour that we did. So definitely a nice little money maker. Definitely, I'd say it's definitely worth it. It's low intensity, requirements are relatively small, and honestly, it's pretty chill. And after that little price check, we can finally calculate how much money we made. So if we subtract the total amount of money that we spent on supplies, which was 41 million, 25,789 GP from the total amount of money that we made, which was 42,088,737 GP, we get a grand total profit of 1,062,948 GP. So just over a mil an hour doing this method. I'd say this is one of our better money making methods. Anytime we break one mil, I'd say it's a really good money making method, especially with low requirements such as these and with low intensities such as these. So. It's always a good method whenever you can just sit back, chill, and make some nice money. And as usual, I will put up the OSR's wiki estimated profit that you'll make from this. We actually ended up making a lot more potions than what it says you can make in an hour, so I was actually really surprised by that considering that we normally fall somewhere slightly beneath the estimated after, you know, one hour, so pretty good there. And of course, by no means am I a super efficient player, so you can actually probably get more potions made than I did especially if you have a better connection than I do. And with that being said, that concludes the OSR's wiki money making method portion of the video. I actually want to provide a nice little update on my Twisted League account. I don't think I've ever shown it on here on a video, simply because I'm not playing it a lot and I feel like the YouTube OSR's section is already flooded with Twisted League videos, so I didn't want to really add stuff on top of that. But I'll throw in a little update right now just, to, just so you can see what I've been up to. So here we are in the great world of Twisted Leagues. Again, I just I, I want to apologize up front if you can hear a background noise. Uh, I'm currently doing like a live commentary over this and my computer, or my laptop actually is super loud whenever I'm streaming or recording with Streamlabs, so sorry for that. But here is the account. Right now I'm just showing off some Fashionscape. Uh, I've been AFKing a lot these past few, like two to three weeks. And if I'm being completely honest, the past couple days I haven't really been playing. I've been busy with other stuff, and then whenever I do have free time, I've actually been playing some other games. So, yeah. Uh, one of them being Resident Evil 2. It's been out for a long time, but I finally got the game in. Loving it, so let's just jump into the bank. Selection, bank screen, whatever you want to call it. We have a small cash stack of 434000 Most of this is from doing clues. Uh, I use this money to buy a lot of feathers. I've been doing a lot of fishing here at Raids Barbarian Fishing. As you can see, I have a bunch of clue scrolls. Uh, I don't seem to get any medium clue scroll boxes, and I don't know why. I, I think it might be because I have a medium clue scroll already opened in my bank, but I'm not entirely sure. Uh, I'm actually running out of feathers, but here I'll show how much fishing XP I got. I'm super close to the 
50 million mark, which grants you, I believe, 500 points, so I'll be finishing that soon. And then here's just the rest of my stats. I have 25 mil in fire making. I have 99. Oh, I have 25 mil in woodcutting as well. I'd forgotten about that. Uh, 99 in fletching. Uh, and yeah, the rest of the skills are pretty, pretty uh, average, I guess you could say. And this is the agility level and strength level. Uh, I guess it's more accurate to go based off of agility. So I have 88 agility just from doing this fishing right here. 48 million, 549,000. So. If you get that amount of fishing XP, this is the agility level that you'll have. Not bad at all. I actually think it's pretty good. I was thinking of just doing 99 agility here at bar fishing because it's so AFK, but I don't know. We'll see how it goes. We'll see if I even feel like playing Twisted Leagues. I'm kind of burnt out to be honest, but uh, we'll see how it goes. So in this tab, we just have a bunch of random stuff, a bunch of random junk. These are all the fish that I've caught. I have the Arcane Courier uh, Relic, I think it's called. So all the fish that I get, get banked here. But yeah, the first tab is just a lot of junk, some purple sweets, some clue items because I did pick the clue scroll relic. Let me go ahead and bank these boxes so we can see the total amount that I have. But yeah, just a bunch of clue items. Uh, I did pick that relic because I thought it would be a lot of fun to uh, do a lot of clues. Uh, fortunately, I haven't received any third age or gilded, so you know. I mean, I guess it would be a good thing to get it, but I just don't want to get it in this game when I could have gotten it in the main game, so yeah. Again, a lot of junk. This is a C tab, random seeds in here, random herbs and potions, some smithing materials. It's funny, as I'm going through this, I actually, I had forgotten about some of the stuff that I had. It's been so long, but uh, some crafting stuff, some fletching, woodcutting, all that good stuff. Some food, and then my gear tab that I was using, so. I was looking pretty fly the first couple of days with all this cool gear. I had, you know, the Zamorak Ruin, some nice dehyde boots, so yeah. And I also got a Tome of Fire pretty early on, so that was nice. And then the Ruin tab, so that's pretty much all I have on my account right now. Not too much, as you can see, 14.6 mil. Um, like I said, I might get back into this and start doing some more, I guess, active stuff like Slayer and stuff like that, but. I don't know. I just I, I've, I've kind of I'm kind of burnt out on doing this. I kind of just want to play the main account and Brian for some pets, but we'll see where it goes. And that's pretty much it. Uh, points, 6,700. So I mean, I'm probably not even in ruin with that amount. I'm probably really low. I can actually go ahead and check it right now to see where we're at. We are ranked 6,700 points. We are ranked. 8,329, so yeah, definitely not even in Ruin, I'd say we're like an adamant, maybe, but yeah, I'm not too, not too stressed out about it. I was going for Dragon, or I, I kind of wanted to get Dragon, you know, like who, who doesn't want to get the Dragon Cup, but I mean, I quickly realized that I wasn't going to be playing this game mode enough to do that, so maybe we'll get Ruin, maybe we'll just drop out and <laughs> collect our Bronze Cup, I'm not sure yet, but just thought I'd give you a nice little update. Still don't have a cape on this account. I might have to go go for that. Uh, with these clues, that might be the first thing that I can do. Go ahead and finish off these clue boxes because I have a bunch banked from fishing and other stuff. So there you go. Two mediums. Yeah. See, like I have such a small amount of mediums. I don't know why. I mean, if you guys know why, you can leave down in the comments below. If I had to guess, I'd say it's either I'm super super unlucky with mediums. Or it's just that I have that clue scroll open in the bank already, which, if that's the case, rip me, because I could have had a lot more medium clues by now. But, yeah. That'll probably be the first thing that I do. Finish off these clues, get some nice gear upgrades, and see where we go from there. But, yeah. As always, I just want to say thanks for checking out the video, and if you enjoyed it, please consider giving it a thumbs up, and possibly a subscription. It is totally free. We are getting super close to 500 subs, and if we can hit that before the year ends, That'll be just amazing. So again, I just want to say thanks for, you know, all your support. I really appreciate it. And I will catch you guys in the next video.